hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to one loves kitchen yes 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 we're still in the process of making the thanksgiving sides and what we're making today we're going to be making some candied yam yes candied yam jamaica we call this sweet potato let me show you the one we use in jamaica these are the one we're used to in jamaica because these are a little harder we use them for sweet potato pudding and everything else but this is the one we're using today for the candy yam. They're a little well, orangish on the inside. They're very softer to cook, and I think they form a lot of water and stuff. So these are the best version for the candy yam. So yeah, we're making our candy yam. And as you see, I have my ingredients here. Some sugar. I have white sugar and brown sugar. Also some ginger, some vanilla, some nutmeg, some some cinnamon and you know all those are the spices we use for baking i know for thanksgiving it's gonna be more because i know a lot of people do this for their family so you know you're gonna have to double all these so since i'm just doing this like to just explain how the process is i'm not gonna be using a full ingredient of everything so you'd have to adjust it based on the amount you're using of course so as you can see i'm peeling my yams you can use a potato peeler everything wash them now we're just gonna cut them up in like a half inch or an inch thick for some of them if they're too large you can um, just split them in two and it's best to do this especially if you're doing a lot in a wider pot so they just laid out and everything but remember this is just like a display of how you're gonna get your yams done and everything alrighty yes so let's go ahead and just finish chopping up all these little babies just want to get an idea of how we're supposed to cut them and everything so let's go ahead and chop 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 and for this since i'm only using like three it's just half cup of brown sugar half cup of white sugar a piece of ginger some vanilla some nutmeg some cinnamon just and a pinch of salt don't ever forget your salt okay just a pinch of salt in that i'll be putting the exact measurement in the description below here i have two tablespoons of water remember guys i told you with this potato they forms a lot of water so you don't want to be adding too much water to your yams okay so i'm just gonna layer them in the pot half of that i'm just gonna throw some of the sugar in it halfway and then cover with the remaining and just pour the rest of sugar on top if you get what i mean and of course once we're on top i'm just gonna pour like the vanilla the ginger and all those little spices and stuff in it i forgot to mention my butter i'll be using four tablespoons of butter so half of that stick i'll be using since i'm not doing a lot of the candied yams okay so i'm just gonna cut them put them at the side of the pot like you can put them on top of the potatoes or anything but i'm just putting them at the side so they can go ahead and just melt down to the bottom of it and all those little juice and everything is gonna be melting from top to bottom you get what i'm saying here i'm adding in my ginger i think the ginger enhances the flavor for this i love the taste of ginger in it but it's optional you don't have to use it but i find that the ginger just mm, brings it to another level so once this is done you have to put it on medium to low heat you cannot put this on a high flame remember it's sugar it's there's not much water in it so it's gonna burn before your yams are finished cooking you understand what i'm saying so we're just gonna put this on medium to low flame medium to low and we're not gonna fully cover the pot because we don't want everything to boil over on the stove and then you know it's gonna be limited with the remaining liquid of that okay. medium to low and i'm just gonna stir this a little bit just a little bit before they start cooking properly so we don't mash out all these yams because we're not making mashed potato over here we're making some candied yams you get what i'm saying yes so we're just gonna flip them now and we're just gonna put back the lid halfway and just put this on medium heat to continue and simmer and all these yams are just gonna go ahead and just take their time and steam so basically you're steaming them while the sugar is boiling down and getting thicker and all of those little goodness and guys i forgot to tell you i gave them around 20 minutes so this is like 15 minutes in and as you can see we have a lot of juice a lot of sweet sugary juice right here but it's not over sweet because as you see i only put like half cup each of the sugar and the yams are very tender as you can see right there 
so I still have this on the medium to low heat just simmering away and I'm just gonna leave this like for five more minutes even though they're tender but still I'm just gonna leave them for five minutes I'm not gonna stir it so they can break but you can see those little seasonings and everything in the yam it's very flavorful it's very delicious it's very 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 soft and mmm mmm Mm, yes it's really good I'm not gonna lie it's really really good so I'm gonna leave this for five more minutes and then all our yams will be done they're very soft very tender you can go ahead and try this this is very very delicious and it takes no time once you peel and everything basically that's it you just season up put it on medium eat and you're done guys don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and in the meantime enjoy this thanksgiving side see ya